Hello Eurovision fans, welcome back to another Eurovision separate video. Let's see what happened this week. What are some Eurovision songs that can get you into the Christmas spirit? Since Eurovision is in May, it's reasonable there haven't been many, if any at all, Christmas songs. But what are some songs that have a Christmas vibe, regardless of whether that was their intended purpose. It can be because of the sound, lyrics, voice, or anything else, really. One I particularly love is Take Me To Your Heaven, Sweden 1999. It really feels like the sequel to Mariah's All I Want For Christmas Is You with those jingles, lyrics, and music video. What do the people say? Oh, definitely San Marino 2015. If you want to torture your guests, sure. Then Vilda, Sweden 1996. Denmark 2021. Oyulisi, Belgium 2008. Cente di Mare, Italy 1987. Disappear by No Angels, Germany 2008. A lot of songs are being suggested. I can't say that I've ever listened to Eurovision songs as Christmas songs. I guess Christmas songs could be more uh, Junior Eurovision songs. So I would definitely count Parvalu Basin as one of those songs. How did ESC miss out on this absurd but brilliant masterpiece in 2016? I do not know the song because I usually don't follow national selections, but there are a lot of songs that are really good and deserve so much more. I guess the song is uh, very much like what people like to imagine being your the definition of Eurovision song. Ima Fresh 2022 artists have been announced. The voting has started. These people are unknown. They're very unknown, so don't expect to know anyone. <laughs> Just to remind in case you forgot, the Czech Republic had probably the best national selection ever in 2020. Um, yes. And I still don't understand how they managed to choose one of the worst songs. My exact thoughts when I first heard Leto Svet. You actually know this ancient song? I guess it's hard to create a tune that's never been created before. What's the weirdest, quirkiest performance from your country at Eurovision? Unconventional. Again, I feel like this is the only thing that we've ever done. Um, but either Sastra from 2002 or... <laughs> I don't even know. Is that considered unconventional? I guess it is. Because we kind of mixed folk music with rock, which is from 2010. Roop, Oh my god. Of all. Pool owners be snapping this up real fast. Always stay cool, like a swimming pool, chlorine pool tablets, uh, Rambo. I don't know what this is, but it's surely a piece of art. Why does everyone think this is my Minecraft skin? <laughs> uh, these people don't really know how Minecraft looks like, do they? <laughs> Tix has been announced as the most played Norwegian artist on Spotify Norway for uh, the second year in a row. And the official music video to Fallen Angel has been announced the most watched music video on YouTube in Norway. Charlie Mason, who worked on Slovenia 2021, missed out on one skin because Slovenia and cued. Embarrassing confession though, this was the first time I had heard Mona skin. I stopped paying attention to this year's contest after the entry I worked on was eliminated in the first semifinal. Apparently, I really missed out. Honestly, every time artists brag about like yeah i we have used this amazing team they're all from america they are they have huge names <laughs> and they like usually fail i just what <laughs> show product don't show off with who worked on it thank you so the top post of this week is meet someone who I develop feelings for, my brain. You're so fascinating. <laughs> Unicorns and rainbows. Ta da! That was it for week 49. Moving on to week 50. I'm so sorry about this, but I didn't have time. December is a busy time, busy month. Uh, 
objectively the busiest month of the year. We'll see if I still make any more videos this year. Let's see what happened this week. Mona Skins begging 66th Duncan's Arcade, 82nd on the year-end US Hot 100. Congratulations. Eskimo Callboy for Germany. Yes, I've been hearing a lot about this song and I'm sure we will hear much more about it. Festival of Kingish songs have been released. Is there any song that makes you uncomfortable? Well, the first thing that just crossed my mind is, of course, uh, play. Estonia. That's just making me uncomfortable and I just don't like it. This is why Blanco, who will sing with Mahmood and Sanrio 22, is being hyped by everyone. Sounds good. Eurovision 2022, my top one so far. Number one, whatever Czechia sounds. Number two, Bulgaria. This is not top one. There is a Riki source of Finland 1981 paper doll. Oh my god, paper dolls. I literally forgot this existed. I'm old, but I'm not that old. <laughs> All the big artists have been announced for Saturday March 2022. Uh, yeah, there's some familiar names. Victoria wins the Masked Singer Bulgaria season 3. That's cool. I like Masked Singer. There's one band that stated they wanted to participate in the national final just released this song. Do they have like a national selection? I literally am don't know. I have severe mental illnesses and of all of my coping strategies, Eurovision Song Contest is the best one. I don't know about coping strategies, but Eurovision is definitely a good coping mechanism for literally anything. <laughs> Check out Polly Reels Lucky 7 for ESCZ 2022. Sarma has been rejecting Jalice. Italy 1997. Fiumi di parole for 25 years in a row? Wait, how do you, is this public information? Ever since Jalice won Sanremo in 1997 and placed fourth in Eurovision with Fiumi di Parole, they have been sending their songs to Sanremo every year, hoping to compete again. And every single time they were rejected by the festival. They just got their 25th rejection this year for Sanremo 2022. This is what you call commitment. I think they should call their <laughs> their next entry Fumi the unquote reverse of grudge. Wow. Honestly, 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 I would not do that. I would quit so fast. Like if I just kept sending songs for Ima and just never got accepted. I don't know. Like unless I was confident that my songs are getting better and better. I probably wouldn't do it. I would be like, it's just either they hate me, uh, or they hate my last name, or they just hate my face, uh, or something else. <laughs> yeah, I would just probably stop. Like, I think that at that point I would think that's something personal. <laughs> Intelligent Music Project Intention um, music video has been released, so we have our very first entry for Eurovision 2022, and it's not Albania. I think it is fine. I don't know if I would add it to my playlist. Probably not. They could stand out. But this song, I think the chorus is a bit lackluster. Mirad to represent New York in the American Song Contest, maybe? <laughs> I'll tell you guys a little sick secret. Please don't tell anyone. Back in August, I got called to represent New York at the American Song Contest with an Albanian song at that. Wait, Albanian song? What does that have to do with New York? <laughs> I always fight for my music and for what I believe in, which is perform. What the heck? <laughs> Ultra Sound of Silence. That is kind of cringe, but also clever. Congrats to Dami Im. She is due in May. <laughs> Map of each country's televote favorite. 1997 to 2021. Yeah, look at that. The whole Balkan. Plus Austria and Switzerland vote for Serbia. Like, the way Ireland and UK voted for Lithuania, what? Is this Australia? Why is it doing up there? Australia for Malta. Yeah, there are a lot of countries that are being completely oversighted. Like, they don't exist. When the song struggling to qualify gets to perform between two fan favorite songs. I didn't even like look at this meme, but it just that sentence just hurt me physically. 
<laughs> just slap me in the face. Mr. Smolder's voice of ESC YouTube channel will no longer work with ESC starting next year. He decided to leave. Well, good luck to him. Alt pop sensation S10 to represent the Netherlands. Your top one dilemma solved. Ouch. <laughs> They're coming and you are the four lucky ones that were that are here. I know I know some of them. There's oh my god. <laughs> I just I can't believe I've been on YouTube for so long. Like these people are so familiar to me. Like I've added their points, their tops so <laughs> to my project. I still don't get it. I've never done this. And the top post of this week is this can't be coincidence, right? We are the heroes of our time. And yes, Duolingo has a lot of funny things like that. Because it's made by people, you know, like <laughs> they can put anything they want. There is also a Sweden 12 points in some course. There's also a I am not your toy. I can't believe this is a top post. <laughs> I should be screenshotting more uh, Duolingo. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. Maybe see you next week. But definitely next year. Take care. Bye.